Morning, Costa. I'm Roxy Dreesen. And I'm Katrina Fiamingo. Let's start it off with the bulletin. Many of you have heard about the Model UN class here at school and the many conferences that the students attend. Well, surprise, because our very own Miracosta is putting on L Layman, a weekend conference run by the students for the students. Over 700 delegates from the 15 different schools will be taking part in this competition at school on Saturday. From 9 in the morning till 6 at night, these delegates will be in engaged in a fierce competition of worldly knowledge. Good luck to the chairman and the legals, and thank you teachers and faculty for all your support. Did you miss anything with Costa Sports in the last week? Here's Henry Pearson's weekly review. I want to rock! Welcome to the Fastest Minute in Sports, I'm Henry Pearson. Fall sports has unfortunately come to an end, but they left us with many memories. Who can forget the boys' water polo team behind the two greatest players to ever play at this school, maybe? Will Dinger and Tyler Krikorian led their team to another Bay League championship. Girls golf had its inaugural campaign and will be a fixture for years to come at this school. Girls cross country went to CIF behind the great Lynn Dixon, and I'm sure the boys' team is already laughing about how their season came to an end. Girls tennis may have had their best team in history of the school and they went undefeated in the Ocean League and only lost two, two matches all year. Girls volleyball lost in the state finals to St. Francis in five games, but it was their first trip to the state finals since 1989, so I guess you could say they had their best team in 12 years. Boys football lost its first game of the year to Hart and finished with a 12-1 record this year, but they will return most of their starters next year and will have a chance to defeat Hart and be, win their first Division III CIF championship. Wouldn't you love getting a special holiday note in the middle of class? Well, this is a season for giving, not receiving. So while you're dreaming of getting your very own Jingle Gram, you should go out and buy some for your friends. They're on sale now until the 17th in the student store. Many clubs on class do things around school especially during the holiday seasons. A new club, Eyes Around the World, keeps up the giving spirit all year long. Marian, Mariana Sanchez reports. If you don't have anything to do on Fridays at lunch and need community service, stop by Room 60 for the club Eyes Around the World. The purpose of Eyes Around the World Club is to raise eyeglasses for kids in Madagascar who don't have them and also um, possibly expand it to other countries where the kids can't get eyeglasses as well as to raise money to buy eyeglasses for the kids. Um, actually this isn't the first club of like the whole chapter, it's like one club of the whole organization. The club was actually started by a girl in Tarzana, and this is the second chapter of the club. So we just hope that through it we can raise more eyeglasses and help the kids through uh, work at Costa, as well as in Tarzana and the other chapters. And here are some final words from the members and why they joined. I'm doing my part to help the international community. First of all, Sean is my friend. And I think it's just a really unique idea and it's, I know a lot of clubs already do community service and it's so broad and this is just so specific and it's just a really worthy really cause. 
Once you've moved on to contact, you can drop off those dorky glasses and help both yourself and the needy. That's all for today. I'm Roxy Dreesen. And I'm Katrina Fiamingo. Thanks for watching. Today's quote comes from Happy Gilmore. Enjoy. That's, you know, I know what you're doing right now, mm. and I don't like it. So why don't you just shut your trap before I put my foot in it? Don't turn your back on me. Let's get one thing straight. This is Shooter's door. I've worked hard my whole life, paid my dues, and now it's Shooter's turn. And Shooter's not about to let his reign at the top be spoiled by some freak sideshow clown. Did you just call me a freak? Hmm. I was on this tour for one reason, money. But now I got a new reason, kicking your ass. Well, <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Let's do it, then. Hey, I'm in on a golf course. Hey, hey, what is going on here, huh? Oh, I was just, um... Looking for the other half of this bottle, and uh, oh, there's some of it right there's a, there's some right there, too. Why don't you just put it down? Yeah, I know. Just stay out of my way, or you'll pay. Listen to what I say. How about I just go eat some hay? I can make things out of clay and lay by the bay. I just may. What do you say?